Hey, what's up everybody? Penn here. This video is going to be how to set up your Hisense UAG as a PC monitor. We're going to be enabling VRR, variable refresh rate, free sync, um, 4K up to 120 hertz. And I'm also going to show you how to enable HDR. And I'm going to be showing you my settings for HDR also. And then the second part of this video is going to be me going over generally my um just the settings on the tv just so it can match what i'm displaying on the desktop here so first thing you want to do is that and this is going to be with the nvidia rtx 3080 okay so i will also put that in the description um i already have it here but i'm going to exit that first thing you want to do you want to right click on your desktop and you want to go to the NVIDIA control panel. So this is assuming that you know how to install a graphics card or you already have it installed. So with the control panel, <clears throat> and I'm going to start from the top of what I use, manage 3D settings. The only thing that needs to be changed here as as far as like your visual quality it's going to be this vertical sync option. Um, if you see screen tearing on the default option where it says use the, the 3D application setting, you want to set this to default to on. That's how you're going to eliminate the screen tearing with some input delay. So you're going to have to factor that in. Um, PhysX, change this to your graphics card. And of course, this method works with graphics cards below the RTX 30 series, but some features may not be readily available at the resolution at the target hertz and the frame rate. Please keep that in mind. Change resolution. So you see here, I have three displays hooked up to my PC. The Hisense UAG is one of them. I'm going to click on Hisense. So in order to activate the 4K up to 120 Hertz, um, you're not going to get it from this part where it says Ultra HD. It only goes up to 60 Hertz. What you want to do, you want to scroll down until you see something called PC. Here, um, and this is with an HDMI 2.1 um, cord or cable. I will leave a link to what I'm using in the description also, in case you guys are wondering. You wanna select 3840 by 2160. And then the refresh rate, you have two modes, 100 Hertz, 120 Hertz. You want to select 120 Hertz. Now, for the NVIDIA color settings, you want your desktop color depth at the highest 32 bit, that's your only option. Your output, 10 BPC, Output color format, RGB. This is going to enable you to have your full dynamic range on your television set. So for some of you that doesn't like the limited scheme or the contrast pop or the black crushing to a certain extent, you're going to want to go with RGB. This is going to be your best bet and you can adjust your settings down to your taste from there. And then you want your output that dynamic range to be at full. So once you do that, you, um, you want to hit apply and it's going to give you a pop up and you are good to go from there. Um, I did find out this now, this is very important too. You see where it says set up G sync. So I'm going to go to the high sense, right? So this is the high sense UAG. So notice how I have enabled G sync, G sync compatible enable for full screen mode right so i forgot to mention in my last video where i'm setting up my own custom settings for the nvidia control panel these latest nvidia drivers are compatible with FreeSync, so you can choose to enable the high sense under the display specific settings just know that it's not validated as g-sync compatible that's fine. It gave me the option for the HDMI 2.1 setup. I just clicked it. I said, why not? You know, it's not going to hurt me. So 
this is my setup i have enabled for full screen mode and then i did check this that was checked and that's it now the hisense uag is a free sync television and it supports vrr from the tv um, through the hdmi portion specifically so what we're going to be doing is i'm going to exit out of this and i want you to right click on your desktop and you're going to get something called display settings and i'm going to show hdr to follow you want to scroll down so this is my high sense because i have three displays hooked up to my um computer this is my high sense right here and i'm going to go to something called advanced display settings i'm going to do that first this is important you can tell it's high sense because it says display three high sense so connected to nvidia geforce rtx 3080 desktop resolution 3840 by 2160 120 hertz 10 bit rgb high dynamic range hdr so what you want to do, you want to make sure your refresh rate here is matching the refresh rate that's in the NVIDIA control panel or somewhat similar. So when I hit this drop down menu here, it can show 119.880. You want this at 120 for the 4K setup. You hit 120 and then you can verify it by hitting the display adapter properties. And then you can go to list all modes and I'm indeed running 3840 by 2160 true color 32 bit 120 Hertz. So you would hit okay. I already have this set up for me and then you will click apply and then you are good to go. So feel free to pause the video at any point just so you can take some notes and not down what you need to get out of this video and feel free to ask questions in the comments as well. So I'm going to hit the back arrow on my settings and then on the same page, when I back out, I'm going to go all the way down until I see graphics settings. Now, what you want to enable, and this is to get the most, you know, out of your setup, you know, you pay, the retail price or the reduced price for your Hisense UAG, whatever it was, you got the new graphics card, you know, you spent your hard on money. You want to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. It's going to reduce the latency and improve performance. You're going to need to restart your computer in order for changes to take effect. VRR, this is Windows version of VRR. Now this is a Windows 10 setup, obviously, but you're going to have similar features or more in Windows 11. So take note of that. You want to turn variable refresh rate on. So it says when possible, get a higher frame rate and reduce screen tearing. Notice how it says reduce, not eliminate. That's why I showed the V-Sync example earlier. So reduce screen tearing in games that don't support variable refresh rate by default you might need to restart your game for this to take effect. You want both of these on. Now, if you don't see both of these options, you may need to uninstall and reinstall your GPU driver from NVIDIA. And I will also link in the description a tutorial or a guide that I say on how to update your GPU drivers using GeForce Experience with um your NVIDIA's graphics cards. I never owned AMD, so I can't tell you what to do there but this is a nvidia and windows 10 guide here so if you see these two options enable them if you don't see vrr for some odd reason it's okay it's not going to hinder your experience it's just something that's an alternative it's optional here but i want both of these on okay so once you do that you know restart your computer and all that and um, these changes will take effect. Now I'm gonna back out here and I'm gonna go to HDR. Now, this is my Hisense UHG labeled as three. So you wanna turn HDR. You simply, yours might be off. You simply push this to on. How you're gonna know that it's on? Well, for one, this is gonna be pushed to the right and your screen may dim a little. 
or it may be a difference of color and tone or brightness. That's okay. There's something called Windows HD color settings, and you will calibrate this based on what you're seeing on your Hisense UAG. The balance that I found to work is use HDR on. Um, I have stream HDR video set to on and they give you like this video preview in which you can preview on your television so that you can see if the HDR is working properly based on to your standards. And um, you want to have this slider here. It's called the HDR SDR brightness balance. The perfect setting for me is 45. You can adjust this to taste, but 45 give me a pretty accurate HDR um, brightness balance on my Hisense UAG. And when I'm actually playing HDR games, it actually looks phenomenal. So try 45, you can try something lower or you can try something brighter. I will start at 45 first and then I will work your way down or up depending on your taste of things, okay? And once you do that, that is it. I'm gonna exit out. Um, that's how you set up your NVIDIA control panel. That's how you make sure your display settings are accurate, your graphic settings are on point, your HDR is popping based on to your taste. Now, in the second part of this video, I'm just going to show you what's on the TV menu, what you have to have activated, and some general settings just so it can get you um, moving, essentially. Okay, this is part two to the video. So this is the Hisense UAG. See, that's Windows 10. So I'm gonna bring up my menu. Make sure you're in HDMI format enhanced. Um, I'm using this as a gaming example. Uh, the best sound as far as the audio sync will be PCM. If you're playing video games, if you're watching movies, then pass through or auto. Um, the picture, well, you guys seen my settings before, so I'm, I'm just going to just be going down until I get to um, advance. And feel free to pause this also. But um, you want to make sure free sync is enabled. And put your HDMI input optimization on picture quality. Gives you two options. Put it on picture. Not sure if people can actually see a difference between the two. I just choose picture because I'm a gamer. And I want the best possible picture and um, graphics. That's why I'm gaming on PC at the end of the day. So this isn't really like a TV settings video per se. Because I've done a few videos on that already and once again you can feel free to pause all of this if, if you want to um, i have no two-point calibration things like that show the backlight but um that's it and how can you tell is variable refresh rate is actually enabled i'm gonna show you you see up top where it says 120.0hz that's when you know uh, free sync or variable refresh rate is actually enabled because as you continuously bring that up while you're playing the game, your frames are going to be jumping down from that 120. You know, it's, it's a variable refresh rate. So it's going to uh, fluctuate, you know, while you're gaming and while you're doing GPU tasks. So that's how you know it's enabled when you see the 120 dot then you see the following and it's going to adjust um, automatically as well on its own. So that's about it. Uh, let me know how you guys like this tutorial. Sound off in the comments. Uh, I'm going to be doing a setup video real soon where I show my um, home entertainment setup, you know, media center. I've done it on my channel before and the Hisense UAG will be a part of that video. So. Peace out. Thank you for watching.